Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Fader, I'm an evolutionary astrologer and this is the evolutionary astrology message for the week between the 22nd and 29th of December 2018. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year everybody. Um, this is the place where we talk about celestial transits, things that are happening with the planets in the skies that affect all 12 zodiac signs and we go throughout the days of the next week hopefully to make this a better more positive week for you and me <laughs> because I, I, I actually don't remember what I say for each day and day so I too go and watch my video again and say ah yeah I should have remembered that I said that only sometimes a little too late but how is the sky treating you you know we are at a time which has a lot of Capricorn energy we are heading towards the December solstice on the 22nd that's a Saturday full moon in Cancer opposing that Sun Saturn that's going to be exact that conjunction is going to be exact on January 2nd and all that Capricorn energy in the sky causes us to look at things as they are or as the Japanese philosophers say they're so-ness of things the so-ness of things they are so <laughs> so as we look at things with Saturn as they are not as we wanted it to, to be and not as we were afraid it might be not only at things but at ourselves the Sun who we are the light that we spread the persons that we are we could have heightened judgment at this time over ourselves and others over our endeavors and the endeavors of others basically wanting things to be followed in a way that is serious adult and very organized and it is a wonderful time to do exactly that exactly that Take that responsibility upon your shoulder and walk forward with a straight chest. Grow up. Yes, this is a great time to do it, but do it kindly. Do it with a lot of warmth and love and appreciation towards yourself and other people in your life, towards the projects that you are involved in. We couldn't or can't or shouldn't be hard asses judgmental freaks at this time communication is accelerated we could have a lot of noise over the next few months we could have a lot of opinions we can have a lot of people saying what they're thinking and maybe even fighting for what they're thinking and believing in that's not necessarily a bad thing but it will heighten ideological conflicts between people and at this time that we are already heading into this uh, uh, atmosphere we have to start watching that our communication is more exact that it is not um, offensive that it is well established that it is not us communicating out of a place of frustration delegitimizing the opinions of others or from a paternal place looking at the opinions of others as something further from the truth subjective truth as you see it and even believing that your truth is the only truth and that everybody should abide by your truth and on this note I want to say that all the conflicts in this world right now are between two groups of people. And you can find these two groups of people in every society, in every religion, in every country, in every city, most of the time in every family too. One group of people is a group that understands that we were born butt naked babies on a round world. No borders were at that time, no social security numbers no obligations or rights, no enemies or friends, allies or foes, 
just butt naked babies on a round planet driving through space. And these people understand today that we need to get along together, that we need to live and let live, and that nobody has a dominion over the truth. And the other group, that again you can find in every country, every religion, every uh, 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 state and, and family and clan and, and city. The other group of people is a group of people that believe that their truth is the only truth and that everybody else should abide by their truth. And the conflicts are going on between these two groups everywhere. Where do you stand? I hope you're standing with me, <laughs> the first group. Because that Mercury-Jupiter conjunction in the sky could really cause us to be overly enthusiastic zealots of our philosophies and beliefs. And as I said, it needs to be well established and rooted in reality. So. Saturday, the 20 seconds, we have the solstice, we have the full moon opposing that Saturn uh, uh, sun and the Jupiter uh, Mercury conjunction is just on the sideline. Moon in Cancer is always about setting our priorities straight. What is really important to me? What do I identify subjectively with as part of my life? Where do my loyalties lie? What is my true priority? Is it home, family, nurturing, mothering? Is it emotional sustenance and security? And all of that needs to face that Saturn sun. What is the outcome on the grounds of reality? Are you up to it? Can you take up the challenge? Can you work through this mountain? Can you step through that ladder can you realign yourself and start following the tracks that you know you have to follow, you know you have to go through these motions if you want to make your dreams come true. You know, most of us know exactly what we need to do in order to progress. It's just that we don't have the self-power, the, the self-discipline, the will to actually go through the discomfort involving doing what we need to do in order to succeed. So, where do you stand? Sunday, the 23rd, very sensitive day. The moon exactly opposing Saturn, squaring Chiron, conjunct Hygieia. Matters of health, of any kind of health, emotional, physical, uh, mental, can come up to the table at this time. How do I make my life more hygienic, more correct? more amended, more, uh, uh, how do I fix things? How do I cleanse things out? How do I purify things and make them uh, 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 healthier for me in my life? After that, from the afternoon onwards, it's a very sensitive, delicate day. And it's a great day, especially at the evening time, to spend with loved ones in more intimate surroundings and enjoy yourself. The evening time, you can, all, you can really enjoy yourself. 24th, Monday, very energetic morning. Remember, I'm talking Central European time, so if you are in the States, move it nine hours before. If you are in uh, Australia, move it nine hours ahead. And um, so, yeah. Monday the 24th, very energetic morning, Moon and Leo, we could really do a lot of things throughout that morning. Afterwards, take a slower uh, approach to things because things can be frustrating. Things can be um, changing too fast, uncomfortably. Plans can change. You, we have to be flexible on Monday the 24th. We have to understand that People can act in an unfamiliar, unordinary well as well, uh, way as well. And we need to take things with a lot more calm and, and, and um, I'm sorry, 
tolerance. We need to be tolerant on Monday the 24th. Tuesday the 25th, Mercury squares uh, uh, Neptune exactly. This is an influence that we've been feeling throughout the last days and we'll be feeling throughout the next few days. It heightens that need for exact communication that I was talking about that isn't so emotional, that isn't too sensitive, that isn't delusional in a way. Uh, other than that, the 25th is a good day. Um, trines between the Moon and uh, Jupiter. The Moon is in Leo and Mercury as well is uh, trining the Moon can enjoy ourselves later on that day just do watch yourself not to overindulge at the 25th on the night time uh, 26th moon in Virgo already uh, trining Uranus it's a day to think out of the box to really take things uh, into a hands-on approach but uh, allow yourself to do new things as well to try out new methods to uh, boldly go where you've never taken yourself before Hello, Georgia. How are you? Yeah, you okay? I'm filming. You want to say hello? Oh, say hello. Hello, Georgia. Hello. So, 27th, moon still in Virgo, trining the sun. Um, it's a great day, actually, to... Um, progress uh, problematic subjects to make people understand the value of what you have to offer within relationships any kind of relationships and to understand how you can heighten the quality of what you are given and you know if if you do that there's a promise that says this could be a great day for your career or advancing things that are important on the work front it could be a day that we want to overindulge ourselves to have another piece of cake and put our feet up and as I said, we could be missing out some good opportunities regarding our work and taking important things forward. <coughs> Venus is going to be conjunct series exactly that day. That's why I was talking about giving and taking and how we could change for the better what we are giving and receiving within relationships. The 28th, Moon and Libra, Sextile Venus, Trine uh, Pluto, great day for intimacy, great day for enjoyment, great day for understanding yourself and your relationships better in a deeper fashion because exactly on that day, Venus is sextiling uh, uh, Pluto. Now, again, this is something that we've been feeling throughout the last few days and will be feeling throughout the next few days. But it's all about understanding who we are in relationships and what satisfies us in relationships and what parts we play in relationships and why and why do we choose these partners and and all of these matters this is a great time for doing that excavation and actually understanding more and becoming more powerful in your relationships understanding what makes a good relationships a good relationship according to you what makes it a success however the moon is going to oppose Saturn on Friday evening so do watch your aggression do watch uh, aggression heading towards you and and enhance your calm as they say in demolition men the 29th Saturday Mars conjunct Chiron exactly another influence that we've been feeling throughout the week and feeling throughout next week it's a time and I've talked about it in the last video it's a time to understand our limitations why are you drilling on a Friday morning, Malakas. Ah. Okay. Um, it's a time to get acquainted with our limitations, to get acquainted with our pain throughout our actions, and understand how we can find a way to move forward, to do things in this world, to initiate matters in this world, to be who we are, and to have our desires fulfilled that are much deeper and more spiritual and authentic to us and sensitive as well. It's about understanding how our post-traumas still restrict and shape the way we do things and shape our future because of it as well. 
However, the moon is going to square the sun and Saturn on that day. It, it is a day to especially watch the 29th Saturday from relationships between men and women, make them as calm, as tranquil as possible. And just don't be too much of a hard ass, don't be too much of a judge, nor to yourself, nor to others. And remember, we're heading towards that Saturn Sun conjunction next week on the 2nd of January. Take up that responsibility. Show yourself who you really are. Step up to that challenge, but do it kindly, not too harshly, not coldly, and not too judgmentally. Uh, I want to say that I want to thank you for sharing. I want to thank you for uh, uh, commenting on these videos and liking them. And on behalf of Georgia and myself, we wish you a beautiful week. And may you all live long and prosper.